gym unit, like the Noriko gym uniform. And then the audience go, oh, it's Noriko's gym uniform. What's that? Like, why is that in the cockpit? Why has that been there for 12,000 fucking years? What's that about? And it doesn't mean anything to any of the characters, because none of them have any idea what it is. But it's entirely just, oh, you guys remember it, right? And it's... It's good when it's being its own thing. And where I gotta move, Simon? Like, the message is the complete opposite of Gunbusters, and it's like, really? You're like, did you not done it? You know? Uh, where I gotta put them? Um, 8 across, 17 down. There, where that idiot's already standing. Yeah, fan service is important in anime, but it fucked it. It fucked it up. We've got a big score to settle with side reel. Right, we need to put them down for the sake of all those waiting on the New World continent. It's just a warm up for the big showdown ahead, Simon. Don't screw up. Who the hell do you think I am? I'm Simon the Digger, leader of the Die Gurn Gang. Come here, Cyril. None of you stand a chance against my drill. The, um. Like, Gunbuster did fan service, and then throughout the series ended up, it, it, like, it shows you a boob, and it's not fan service, eh? Whereas. Die Buster never stops looking at Noriko's uh, uh, Nono's panties, let's non fucking stop. And it's like, remember Gumbuster? Remember Gumbuster? You're like, yeah, and you're not as good as Gumbuster, so maybe stop inviting the direct comparison that you lose every time. So I gotta move her, because it should be there. Exact same dude, so we'll actually get the kill. Phew, finally, I like getting bops. That's what I've always wanted. It's all I've ever wanted. Also, Try again, it making it happen. Good, 
good. There we go. The train wasn't going to last forever. She's not ready yet. Do it. The shitty big uh, the Angelos. I hate him. Perfect. Perfect. I gotta move her anyway. Out of juice, this is bullshit. How could this happen to me? Don't get all of her energy back or anything. There's only got like 200, I think she's got like 150 to start actually. Yeah, like 210. See, see, okay, so I gotta move. That'll get us all that'll get us three of them. No, four of them. Okay, we can we can make that happen. So even the ones we'll hit won't take Mega Mondo damage. Certainly helps get some buffs, so pretty, pretty good, pretty good. So let's get this last thing with the moisty. Just anybody else showing up with mercy? Yeah, just loud then. Dude. Got him. We rescued all of the things. Nice work, everybody. Everyone evacuated. Nailed it. Good. Got him. Now we can just fucking murder everybody. Guys, I'm gonna maximum break this thing because that'll get him with the bops for sure. Like, guaranteed. There's no way the two of them doing an all tag don't kill the guy. And I believe it's that square. So let's save and see. We'll find some sick sunglasses.
Ah! What's a beast man doing here? Commander Ral, it's been ages. Good to see you again. Save the place for that, you gotta get out of here. Are you Simon of the Die Gurren Gang? Hmm. Now I reckon you'll make good use of my little treasure. Come in his sunglasses. These are. See you around, Simon the Digger. Don't lose! <laughs> I think that's one of the soldiers who fought against you and coming away back then. Bro, I'll be a man worthy of wearing these sunglasses. Did it. Just these idiots. Okay, no, it does work. Oh, it's because you can't maximum break it. That's why I was being a silly goose. all set up for the Shinster. And now it's just him. Good fuck him. Oh, nobody you can do that as guy just left. these people. Z Blue keeps getting in my way and Sardius never takes me seriously. I call anyone who won't bow to me. Z Blue, Sardius, and even Barbie L. Your car sucks and you got it. And if he deployed Alto, he'd go, Ranker, what happened to you? Dang it, this is the time you're worried about Mikage's nightmare. Hey, that dude desperately wants to be the new fae of Universal's entry. How good is that going to be? I'm a master soldier. Wind's a light. Shitting 
anything to... Just jumped over there was nothing compared to me. Whiffed it. I guess we'll just just get our bop and be done. Uh, Bizarre, if you fight with him, he's like, "Come on, what's stupid as hell? Listen to my song." And Gamlin goes, "Yeah, that's it, Bizarre. What is stupid? That's why we soldiers fight to put a swift end to it. So sing, Bizarre. I'll handle the fighting." How could this happen to me? I'm gonna get sacked over this. Like, dang it, that dude left and he sucks. All enemies defeated. It's like, right. Next step, Wrath of Babylon. Let's go, everybody. So, Rune was like, hell yeah, Simon, glad to see you back. He's like, yeah, we've been fighting against Sidereal in the New World Continent, and it was a bit of a struggle, so we couldn't join earlier. And then what is like, how could you have a struggle? You've got the Choking Gagar and Lagan. It's as big as the fucking moon, dude. And he says, it was taken from me. <laughs> what? Uh, Barbiel took civilians as hostage, and as a trade, they demanded the Daigurin. Uh, Roshi was hesitant at first, but Nia convinced him to save the lives of innocents, and convinced him that it, that was more important. And uh, Nia, Nia says that um, the Daigurin is their hope, but hope could be restored at any time, but lives can't. So in the end, the civilians were given back, but Barbie used his sphere to make him go all mad as hell. So we had to lock him up. Uh, Roshi did agree to co focus on defending um, the New World Continent, though, while Simon would go off and do things. He knew this wouldn't last long, so he decided to head to Wrath Babylon. And then they found out from Roshi that Z Blue was nearby, and had a good time. Sure thing, give me that. You. Meanwhile, Nono and Noriko are arguing. Like I said, I'm part of the top team. I don't know about topless. Then why are you piloting a buster machine? It's because Gunbuster's our hope, and Dine Summer and I burn our soul and turn it into flames. You have an Dine Summer too? Why are you copying us? You're just an apprentice. You've got no right to say anything, Nono. That's mean of you, Dine Summer. So you're her, Dine Summer. She's just calling me that. Uh, it's... Let me introduce myself. I'm Noriko Takaya. Nice to meet you. My name's uh, Lalk Milk Mal. I guess I'd be a junior compared to you. Don't get so friendly with my own Asama. Besides, your name gets on my nerves. My name? That's right. Your name. It's too close to Nonariri. Nonariri? Nono's an android, but it seems her memories are corrupted. But anyways, this Nonariri she calls is supposedly a space pilot she idolizes. That's right, Nona Riri fought for the future of the human race. She's pure, truthful, and a beautiful girl. She's got long hair and a nice body, and a smile like the Virgin Mary. She's the perfect symbol of our hope. That's n not me, for sure. How depressing. See? Isn't she lovely? You know, you shouldn't be talking too much, because you're pretty clumsy. Ugh. I agree with the princess. You've been too pushy for someone who just has got a similar name. Here's Tycho. From what Cassio says, Gunbuster's using a different mechanism compared to the Buster machine. Oh, that'd be obvious, because it's not using an exotic maneuver. Then, why the heck's it called a Buster machine? Maybe it's the same as Gundam's existing in parallel worlds. You think Gunbuster's a Buster machine from a different dimension? Considering that they have different space monsters from ours, I think that's a suitable theory. I guess I can accept that. You know, it could be very interesting if Noriko would be non-Ariri, but from a different dimension. 
No, nope, can't be. No matter if it's a different dimension, she's different from Nonariri. That's like saying Ryoma's got a different dimensional version of himself, but more eloquent and he's still a student and he plays football. Well, can you at least agree on who I am? Noriko. I'm sorry my gun buster looks like the buster machine, you know. But this gun buster reminds very important to me, so I'd appreciate it if you didn't insult it. I'm, I'm sorry, Noriko. Nono was wrong. Isn't that buster machine? And Nono, it's just that... It's alright. After all, you and Naka, you and I are part of Zebu. We're friends. Thanks, Noriko. Nono will show effort and guts. And again. As long as you rely on that, you'll always be an apprentice. Wait. One minute there, I'll... I don't agree with what you just said about effort and guts. Eh? Uh? You can't win without effort and guts. Those who laugh at others' effort and guts will later lose to their own weakness. Eh? Eh? Noriko sounds right on this time. Effort and guts, the fuel to create and hope. Oh no. Noriko. See, and now they're getting along. Well, whatever. Even though we're from different dimensions, let's get on. Yeah, for the sake of my future. And here's Zero. Looks like you finally settled in. Yeah, Nono and Noriko are best buddies. Just like she says. Nice to meet you all. What, could it be you're feeling some jealousy? That's not it. Don't worry, Onesama. Onesama will always be the only Onesama to me. Onesama, huh. huh. And then uh, Noriko says she was captured by Sidereal because they were using the hostages as a shield and she had no choice but to surrender. She says Sidereal was super interested in Gunbuster and examine it, but don't know if they got anything from it. Um, she states that the person who was in charge was named uh, Barbie L. And we're like, oh yeah, we fucking know that dude, he sucks. Barbie L the Needle, oh that guy, he's a real jerk. He's like, yeah, we've messed with him a couple of times, we're going to pay him back along with Shiko. And then uh, Zero says that everybody should be able to complete their mission uh, with all of our new allies. And then internally, Zero's gonna do a thing, yeah. He's, and then he's like, why is the guy Empire kidnapping civilians in the first place? Why are they so interested in Gunbuster? Whatever. I'm gonna annihilate him. Bunch of jerks. Bunch of joiks. <laughs> what the heck's a, what the heck's a Buster machine? I ask going next a little watching poor family. The, the, the topless Buster machines are totally wimpy and wicked suck. What about Gunbuster? What the heck's a Gunbuster? But we got it. Happy Ace Pilot, uh, Bizarra. And then AJ's like, you touched the heart of uh, 80 people with your fire. And he's like, it's not enough. I've got to touch a thousand people, 10,000 people. Gotta touch all the hearts. I was like, wow. That's Basara. Always aiming for the stars. And then the rest of you guys are alright too. Happy Ace Pilot Gamlin. Thanks, AG. And then he's talking about Mylene and Gamlin and their strength and their good. And he's like, well, I gotta show to Mylene that I love her. I gotta touch her heart. And it's like, oh, Gamlin. Really? Happy Ace Pilot Simon, thanks AG. You and your drill uh, can do anything, huh? Yep. And then he's like, uh, I did, I've done math drills, kanji drills. Uh, the last one he says on the second line there is man drill, done it all. He's like, see, I really, in you're really into drills. He's, and then he's like, I'm gonna ban drills. You gonna ban drills? He's like, yep. Says so, I mean, think you can do an attack drill? He's like, yeah, I can do it. It's good. He's like, wow, incredible. Happy Ace Pilot, Noriko. Thanks, AJ. So Noriko's coming on full strong, and I don't know what she's gonna say to him. She's gonna say something like he's gonna. So he's like, I know you're a sexual harassment robot or something. He's like, no, oh, Noriko. It's like, no, I'm not falling for it. And I don't know what 
that is, he said, but it's something that's disarmed Noriko. But whatever. Did something he's like, yeah, you can, uh, you're gonna do it. You're gonna be good. Don't worry about it. Zero is not bald. He's got loads of fucking hair. It's ridiculous. So, this is, no, it's like, I gotta use effort and guts to, yeah, she's like, effort and guts equals hope. It's like, what is, like, Noriko did an Inazuma kick, and it was way stronger than mine, so I practiced my kicks. Well, Noriko sort of invented that thing, but for you seeing that and it touching your 50 Z-chips. Wow, Z-chips, huh? It's like, yeah, they're made by emotions, and they come from your guts or whatever. Hell yeah! I'm gonna fight and earn loads. Me and Noriko, we're gonna do kicks and it'll be cold. And then... Trains... I don't know when he says that, but he's saying something and then she's like... Oh, and then she starts saying uh, Inazuma, but then other different things. Yeah, so she's like, I need a, I need a, a special type of Inazuma, like, there's, there's, like, she's got Inazuma, there's Inazuma double kick, Inazuma, Inazuma complete kick, uh, Inazuma, uh, fire kick, uh, Inazuma drill kick, yeah, Inazuma space drill kick, she's like, I'll figure out something, I'll, uh, I'll just be super inspired by another Riri, it's like, oh, lady, you can figure it out eventually, Inazuma complete kick. And she does it on AG and smashes his fucking face. He's like, <laughs> "Looks like the mission was a great success, Ozma. Thanks to you, I really appreciate it, AG. Without you, we couldn't have tracked down where Basara was. I'm glad it all worked out. It's all thanks to the Z crystal. That thing can do that. Z chips are born from human emotions. You refine that and purify it and create Z crystals." And of course, that means it'll react to human emotions, or the power of life. If Vasara Sama sings somewhere, it's the Z Crystal will catch the sound waves, especially when his songs are special. So tracking that will lead to his location. I see. The Crystal's got good taste if you can understand Vasara's songs. I suppose you can put it that way. I'll welcome anybody and anything that'll listen to my songs. Oh, Vasara Sama, how about you give me one of your shouts? Ready any time. Well, let's be well then, let's begin our... Business, business! Radically fire! Keep on singing, Vasara. Your songs will encourage Ranker. Or else she'll fucking die or whatever. Still can't afford shit. I don't want any of these items though, so that's fine.